Hello, and welcome to Wow Wednesday with me, Jody Misiak. And today we're going to talk about the fact that you don't need to be a lone wolf. So if you listen to last week's video on uh, planning and things like that, I mentioned how I noticed in my own self-care practice that support is like an area I need to focus on. So I need to listen to this video as much as anyone else, I suppose. <laughs> so you don't have to go through the holiday season alone. If your, you know, feelings come up, maybe this is a very emotional time for you, depending on, on where you're at in your life. It could be financial, it could be grieving a loss, like a loved one that is no longer here. Who knows what's coming up? Like, I, you, you know best. You don't have to go through it alone. So whatever you're feeling, uh, so it can be feelings, and it can be just in general reaching out and asking for help. You don't need to do this alone. And I say that with so much love because I too know and like need to know this message. Um, sometimes they say you teach what you need to know the, or learn the most. And boy, here I am today reminding myself as well that it it's not about being an island, that we're here on this earth, earth together. And um, so you know, I, I am very much, um, I can be a lone wolf and I very much uh, can go in, inward and and things like that. So if you feel like you're a lone wolf or you know you're a lone wolf, you're not alone. I guess us lone wolves can stick together. Uh, so today, I'm going to keep this one short because I want you to go out there and ask for help whatever it is in your life that you need. Maybe uh, you're holding a lot of family get-togethers or friends over. Instead of maybe trying to cook it all, if like that's if you're feeling overwhelmed about it, potluck. I know the other year we were feeling, you know, pretty stretched thin. So we actually asked family members to bring some dishes to my daughter's birthday because December in our house isn't just for Christmas uh, and getting ready for New Year's. It's my daughter's birthday as well, <laughs> like a couple, you know, a week and a little bit before Christmas. So we we know how how busy things can get. And now she's at an age where we have friends, her friend's birthday, like a friend birthday as well. So we have like two birthday things on top of Christmas. So it's about reaching out for help. Like I said, potluck's great. If you are somebody that loves to do all the cooking and it brings you so much joy then maybe have people bring the desserts or, you know, maybe have like friends over and help clean the house, like whatever it is that you feel like you need help with. I know the one year we actually had Christmas at our house and I can't remember exactly why. I think my mom just needed, she was doing something I, you know, I offered because uh, she just, um, I can't even remember what it is. But anyways, it turned out that was the year I needed my appendix out, and it was out just a month before Christmas. I was actually in a lot of pain when we were getting things ready, and uh, we hired a cleaning person. Our house was a disaster because I couldn't do uh, the cleaning, and my husband had a lot, like two kids and other things to take care of. So we got a cleaning person. You know, sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, and... Uh, and that's just how life rolls. So reach out for support if you need it. Here, if you need emotional support or just like a reminder of how lovable you are and how amazing you are. And if you need other support, reach out to family, friends. There's so much out there for support. And, uh, and just remember that asking for help is not a weakness. It's not... Um, to show that you are like that you're a failure because you're not. We are not meant to do it all on our own. That is a big life lesson I've learned because for so many years I did it all. And I felt that if I asked for help, that that meant I wasn't good enough, that I wasn't worthy enough. Like I just felt like that meant that I couldn't do it on my own. But we're not meant to do it on our own. And it's so funny, though, because I've done it for so many years that now my family thinks I can do everything on my own. Like my parents, everybody just thinks I'm good 
and then I can do it on my own. So it's it's letting them know that I'm human, that I need help too. Cause, because for so many years, I just gave, 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 gave. So if you're in that position, I send you so much love because it is really tricky sometimes to have people realize that you've changed and that you're not that person anymore. And, uh, especially I find family and some older friends, they think that that's always how you've been. So that's who you are now. And that is not a hundred percent at all because we are not the same person. We were a day ago, even a week ago, a month ago, or a year ago. So if you find your, yourself in that place where people around you don't think you need support, I know it can be hard. It's about going and, and letting them know, like, look, I know for years, I have done it all on my own. That doesn't mean that I don't need the help or want the help. So, you know, remember, you're not a lone wolf. And it's about thinking outside the box. So if you, like I said, the potluck. Potluck's great if that's what you want to do. But like I said, cooking for everybody brings you joy. It used to be for me, and then I have my priorities. My priorities are different now. And I just want to spend time with my kids. Like, that's my main focus. My kids and my husband. Um, I do still love cooking. But sometimes, like, the stress of trying to get it all done so that you can hang out with the family. Sometimes it, it's it's figuring out where you can relieve some of the stress. So, again, thinking outside the box. Or I love um, what Gabby Bernstein, Bernstein says is think without, without a box. And because uh, it doesn't, have, we don't have to have a box. So look at what area you could use some help in, and go ask for help. I know that it's okay to ask for help. You matter enough. Your 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 peace throughout the holiday season matters enough. So figure out where you could use some help, and then go ask. And if you don't know who to ask, I always. What I've been practicing lately is opening it up to the universe. And uh, there's keeps there's a number that keeps showing up for me. And I, every time I see it, I thank you, universe, for coming back. So it's just being realized that maybe you don't feel supported with the loved ones around you. That doesn't mean that there isn't a loving support around you still. And the more you lean on that, the more you'll see it show up in your life. More, more beautiful moments show up where people out of the blue are just like, I would love to help you and support you. So... If that's where you're at and you don't feel supported, know that you are. And in this, and in on this page, you are supported. Um, I don't even want to call it page because that seems just so cold. We are part of a community. You can lean on and and ask, and uh, know that you are not alone. I hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye for now.